The Path of the Laughing Mind, Part 5. Mo's journey had brought him to the most profound mysteries of existence. As he climbed the mountain one last time, he wondered about the nature of consciousness, the link between mind and body, the balance between science and spirituality, the origins of human language, and the interplay between luck and effort in life's successes. Guru, what is consciousness? How does it arise? Consciousness, Mo, is like a flame. It arises when the conditions are right. The spark of awareness ignites and suddenly there is light. But where does it come from? It's a mystery as old as the stars. Some say it's born from the dance of neurons in the brain, while others see it as a reflection of the universe itself. Consciousness is the light in which we experience everything, yet it's elusive, like trying to catch the flame with your fingers. So consciousness is a mystery that arises when the right conditions are met, but we can't fully grasp it. <laughs> exactly. It's like trying to see the light from the candle while being the flame itself. You're aware of everything it illuminates, but the flame never sees itself. Consciousness arises, shines, and gives life to all our experiences, yet its true nature remains hidden, just beyond our reach. Mo realized that consciousness, like a flame, is both the source of light and the mystery at its center, something that arises and shines, but cannot be fully understood. Guru, what is the relationship between the mind and the body? Are they separate or are they one? Mind and body, Mo are like the roots and the blossom. The body is the earth that grounds us. The mind is the flower that reaches toward the sun. They are different, yet inseparable. The mind needs the body to express itself, and the body needs the mind to find purpose. They dance together in harmony, like two partners in a cosmic waltz. <laughs> so they're different aspects of the same being, each depending on the other? Precisely. Think of them as the two sides of a coin. You can't have one without the other, and each defines the other. The mind gives meaning to the body's actions, and the body gives form to the mind's thoughts. Together, they create the dance of life, moving to the rhythm of existence. Mo understood that mind and body were two parts of the same whole, each shaping and supporting the other in the dance of life. Guru. What is the relationship between science and spirituality? Are they opposing forces, or can they work together? Hmm. Science and spirituality, Mo, are like the two wings of a bird. One is the wing of reason, the other of wonder. They may seem to flap in opposite directions, but together they lift us toward understanding. Science asks how, spirituality asks why. Together, they give us a fuller picture of the universe. A bird with one wing cannot fly, but with both its soars. So they're complementary, each offering different insights into the same reality? Exactly. Science explores the mechanics of the universe, while spirituality delves into its meaning. Together, they help us understand both the clockwork and the poetry of life. They are not enemies, but allies each revealing different facets of the same truth. Without both, our understanding remains grounded, but with both, we can reach the skies. Mo began to see that science and spirituality were not at odds, but rather two complementary paths leading to a deeper understanding of the universe, each providing insights that the other could not. Guru, where does human language come from? How did we start communicating with words? Ah. Language, Mo, is like the song of birds. It began with simple sounds, calls and cries to convey the most basic needs. Over time, these sounds became more complex, more expressive, turning into the symphony of speech we use today. Language is born from the need to connect, to share our inner world with others. It's the bridge between minds, built from the stones of experience and the mortar of imagination. So language evolved from simple sounds, growing more complex as we sought to express more of our thoughts and feelings. Mm -hmm. Yes, language is like a river that started as a trickle and grew into a mighty flow, carving out valleys of meaning along the way. 
It's our way of reaching out to each other across the vastness of our individual worlds, turning thoughts into shared reality. It's a gift, a tool, and a magic spell all rolled into one. Mo realized that language was a living, evolving entity, a tool we created as humans to connect, to share, and to bridge the gap between individual minds. Guru, what is the role of luck versus effort in success? Are we truly masters of our fate, or are we just lucky? Ha ha! Luck and effort, Mo, are like the wind and the sail. The wind can blow in any direction, it's beyond our control, but the sail? That's your effort, how you catch the wind, how you steer your boat. Success comes from both having the wind at your back and knowing how to sail. Sometimes the wind is kind, other times it's against you. But without effort, even the strongest wind won't take you where you want to go. So success is a mix of both, the luck of the wind and the skill of sailing. Exactly. You can't control the wind, but you can control how you respond to it. Luck gives you opportunities, but effort turns those opportunities into reality. Think of it as a dance between fate and free will. Sometimes you lead, sometimes you follow, but you're always part of the dance. Mo understood that success was not just a matter of luck or effort alone, but the interplay of both. How we respond to the winds of fortune with the skill of our own actions. And so, with each new question, Mo's understanding deepened. He learned that consciousness was a flame. Mind and body were dance partners. Science and spirituality were wings of the same bird. Language was a river of connection and success was a dance between luck and effort. The path of the laughing mind had led him to these profound truths, wrapped in humor and wisdom, and it was a path he would walk with joy for the rest of his days. The path of the laughing mind was not a straight line to the truth, but a winding road full of discovery, wonder, and endless laughter in the pursuit of wisdom. Mountain where the questions play. Mo searching for the answers in a curious way. With the guru's laughter echoing through the trees, he's finding wisdom in the whisper of the breeze. <laughs> With the questions, leave your doubts behind On the path, the path, the path of the laughing mind 